Hi and welcome to this month's Decred news coverage. In this update, I'll go over the latest developments in the world of Decred. A decentralized cryptocurrency with a strong focus on governance, privacy, stakeholder participation, and much, much more. Decred has been making significant progress in recent months with its DCR DEX version 0.6. Also, Bison Relay, Decred's own chat and social media application that runs on Lightning Network. Furthermore, there is a new consensus change proposal out. So whether you're a longtime supporter of Decred or just finding out about the project, here's your chance to catch up with everything going on and learn. So let's dive in. There is a new proposal to change Decred's block reward subsidy again. This involves not only lowering the proof of work reward to 1%, but also changing the mining algorithm entirely to Blake 3, which would make existing ASICs useless. The motivation here is the proof of work mining dumping has not ceased, even though their inflow has already been reduced considerably. The proposal author Jacob Compiat says this is a declaration that Decred can and will take countermeasures both currently and in the future to disrupt mining cartels as necessary to defend the project. Blake 3 was chosen instead of RandomX as the new algorithm because it is fast and will allow SPV wallets to quickly check the block headers, whereas RandomX would make SPV wallets, which are an important component of the Decred wallet experience and ecosystem, slow, which is something we don't want. The proposal also calls for raising the proof of stake reward from 80 to 89%. Comments thus far have varied, from users supporting the change to those asking for proof miners have continued to attack the project. Other commenters want the subsidy difference taken from miners and given to the treasury and not proof of stake. I strongly suggest viewers head to proposals.decred.org to view and comment on this proposal themselves. I'll leave a link in the video description. DCRD is a full node implementation that powers Decred's peer-to-peer -peer network around the world. Recently, the consensus deployment validation logic was reworked to make it easier to modify and bring it more in line with the more modern coding practices used in the code base. DCRD now enforces globally unique vote IDs for different agendas. Developers also simplified code that tracks the status of consensus rule changes and added a network parameter to force consensus votes to certain outcomes and activate their features accordingly. For VSPD, the software now checks if the VSP is closed before other clients are initialized. This is more efficient and prevents possible errors. Bison Relay is an exciting peer-to-peer -peer social media platform with no censorship, no surveillance, and no advertising, all running on Decred's Lightning Network. Most notable improvements are an adjustable font size, image and link attachments, including images working in bridge channels, a tipping bot called Oprah, a side panel for easier access to actions for users and group chats, added total DCR sent and received summaries to payment stats page, added QR codes for deposit addresses, and many other improvements making things just feel faster. Now you may be wondering how to access the tipping bot Oprah. Let me show you. You need to key exchange with Decred Project Lead JY-P, which should be done automatically when you join the trading channel on Bison Relay. Next, find one of his posts about Oprah by clicking his name and clicking both subscribe to posts and list posts. Then find the post in the news feed and make a comment. From there, Oprah should key exchange with you. You will then start receiving tips and decred for making posts of your own and leaving comments. The more substantive the post, the more you will be tipped. Bison Relay will soon have prepaid invites, meaning the invite will come with the decred necessary to use the Lightning Network on Bison Relay. Remember, everything you do on Bison Relay costs a small amount of money. All in all, this will serve as an excellent onboarding tool for growing Bison Relay. Bison Relay will eventually be coming to mobile, which will help grow and expand the platform. DCR DEX, Decred's own peer-to-peer -peer atomic swap exchange, has a number of improvements. Version 0.59 has been released and includes improved client database compaction to save disk space, more accurate swap fee estimates, protections against zero-fee swaps, improved performance, cleaned up logging, and automatic Docker release image building and publication for Umbral. DCR DEX version 0.6 is coming soon and includes what we've all been waiting for, Ethereum pairs and stable coins. It also includes Fidelity Bonds, a UI makeover, and built-in wallets for Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash. The DCR DEX team has had a number of proposals approved to continue their development work. This includes a market maker and arbitrage bot, 
with a cost of $73,000. In their proposal, they write, by offering an easy to use market maker bot, any user will be able to provide liquidity to any market. This creates opportunities for earning coins that many will find attractive. A decentralized network of market makers will lead to truly healthy markets. The DEX team is also building out a full-fledged standalone desktop application for Windows, Mac, and Linux. The DEX team wants to make a product that is usable by everyone, especially as more and more coins are added to the DEX. The ask for this proposal is $29,000. And the final approved DEX proposal is about continuing client development, which involves adding new assets like Digibyte, Polygon, and Firo. Adding Zcash shielded pools, decred mixing, and staking in DEX wallets, rebranding the DEX, including changing the name entirely, and a discretionary budget for whatever the devs see fit. In total, the asking price for this proposal is $182,000, paid out in decred. Now let's look at some community updates. The timestamp.decred.org redesign has been fully implemented and is now live. Timestamply is a free service for timestamping files powered by the Decred blockchain. Decred Society put together an excellent video going over it. Let's take a quick look. DCR Time is an open source tool that anyone can build with and have their information timestamped on the Decred blockchain. One service that's been built internally on DCR Time is Timestamp, a super efficient timestamping service which allows for an almost infinite amount of timestamping at no cost. Timestamping is a way of proving a digital item existed at a certain point in time. Pretty much any digital item can be uploaded to this service and then it outputs a unique 32 byte identifier. This is then included into a block on the Decrypt blockchain and is irreversible after several block confirmations. The catalyst for this new momentum came when Brazilian President Lola da Silva used Decred's timestamping service in the 2022 election. The party used the service to register the government's plans on-chain, which allowed voters to authenticate the document. This makes it easier to check if the information received about the election campaign is true or false. Decred contributor Tivera had an exciting chat with David Vorick on if ASIC mining is rigged. It raises a good question whether, you know, um, proof of work is even viable as a solution for, not for Bitcoin, of course, for Bitcoin, it would be an exception, but for altcoins and especially, you know, altcoins that are, that are coming now into the space. There was some unfair play from Bitcoin, basically like a uh, Chinese manufacturer, manufacturer uh, in the last moment notifying you that they won't uh, manufacture for you. Yeah, that's correct. And that's something that, again, a lot of manufacturers have run into. Um, if you are doing business in China or with TSMC, um, there was a lot of suspicion. Again, I don't think any hard evidence came forward, but a lot of like soft evidence and suspicion that Bitmain was uh, pressuring its suppliers, um, both the chip manufacturer, but also uh, uh, and especially contract manufacturers, the people making actual like boards and chassis and stuff, um, would basically pressure them and say, if you want us to continue doing business with you instead of one of your competitors, um, you need to drop this customer. Um, and we, we suspect that happened to us. Um, and so we, we ended up not manufacturing with TSMC and we ended up not manufacturing in China. We built everything in the United States. Um, we had a Chinese manufacturer lined up. It was a lot cheaper. They dropped us inexplicably. Um, we suspect Bitmain was involved in that conversation because, again, they didn't they didn't give us any reason that made sense. Um, they just said, "Yeah, we're not we're not doing this. We we are backing out of this deal." And so um, we had to scramble to find a new manufacturer. Um, and yeah, Bitmain is well known to to play basically as as dirty as possible. Um, they they just want money. Um, they don't care about reputation because when you make when your business is making money printing machines you don't need a reputation you have a money printing machine decred magazine has a new article directly comparing decred with digibyte the article concludes by saying digibyte's multi-layered blockchain makes it a charming option for users who value speed and security while decred offers governance a hybrid consensus model dcr dex and stakeholder voting Decred Magazine also has a number of articles covering the ongoing banking crisis, privacy and cryptocurrency, and many other topics, so definitely check it out and subscribe. Representatives from Cointelegraph even joined us on the Decred live stream. So we are building all of this really wonderful stuff and the, the, the platform is, is absolutely fantastic, but where we're at right now is we need people to kind of understand that 
this this project is there it's actually very very good and how to get exposure now for my money very much the big publications like Coin Telegraph and, and others that's really where we need to get in that exposure from so I guess the question is is um, what is the best package for somebody that's starting out we want to test the water we want to see what works what doesn't what is the best package what's the best direction to take and I mean if I open this up to Matthew first, I think, and then we'll, we'll go over to Jan and we'll, we'll get some back and forth on that. That's great. Yeah, sure. Happy to speak to that. So like Exodus said, uh, we spoke with Tivra and Exodus. Um, I mean, at this point, Exodus it must have been three, four weeks ago when we started this process. We had an initial conversation trying to, Phoenix, like you said, what, what is Decred trying to accomplish? How can Cointelegraph best suit your needs? Uh, and the package that we landed on was two articles, two different formats of those articles, plus the Twitter spaces, um, kind of allowing us to test the waters with two of our most broad reaching products, uh, see what works and then come back and discuss further. I, I think I touched on this a bit on the proposal platform that we're not just looking to do this one deal and then walk away from Decred forever. Uh, the idea here is we want to build something with you guys. We see you guys as a long-term partner. Um, you know, we want to see what works for you guys, where the metrics come in, and then assess and go from there. Uh, you know, I want to take this opportunity to address some of the, the comments and the questions on the proposal site about an article that was written in 2015. Um, I'm, I'm 27 years old. Uh, I joined crypto in, in 2017, 2018, uh, and stayed adjacent until I graduated from college, picked up a couple of jobs, and then eventually jumped into crypto full-time in 2021. Um, you know, I have friends that are uh, big fans of the Decred protocol. I, I can't speak to what was written in 2015, but I can say now that I want to help you guys now. And I think moving forward is what crypto is all about. You know, the world has changed a lot in seven years. Crypto has changed even more than that in the past seven years. So, uh, you know, I just wanted to get that out there ahead of time. And now let's look at Politea, which has had tons of activity. The Cointelegraph content proposal from Cointelegraph requested $50,000 US dollars payable in Decred in order for the Decred community to leverage Cointelegraph's media platform to spread awareness and adoption. This would be accomplished with a Twitter Spaces interview on their Twitter account, two articles, and a press release. Stakeholders were not happy with the price and decided to reject this proposal. Now, even though this proposal failed, I think we as a community can learn from this. Namely, anyone can reach out to different organizations that can help market Decred and tell them about our funding system and proposal platform. The Decred Journal and Politea Digest 2023 proposal was approved. This proposal continues the work of putting together the Decred Journal and Politea Digest. The Decred Journal is, of course, a monthly write-up of all notable project activity. From development updates to community news, the journal has it all helping to keep stakeholders informed on the project's direction. Every Decred GitHub repository is thoroughly checked so that no new dev updates are missed. The Politea Digest, of course, serves to update voters on all notable proposal activity in a simplified report. This proposal has a budget of $40,000 for the remainder of the year. Another proposal is for Decrediton Ledger support. This will finally add support for Ledger in Decred's wallet. It includes the ability to sign and send transactions, receive transactions, view transaction history, and verify addresses associated with the Ledger. It does not include staking. The asking price is $20,500 payable in Decred. Taking a quick look at network stats, the current ticket price is 254 Decred or about $5,400 US dollars. The yearly yield is around 6.7%. Total stake Decred is 66% of the circulating supply. The hash rate is 77 peta hashes. The treasury contains 848,603 Decred. The total coin supply is 14,839,356 Decred, and 62% of the supply is mixed using Decred's unique stake shuffle privacy service. The exchange rate remains stable at $21.38. Thanks for watching this Decred news update. Be sure to check out Decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.